So if you are a lash artist, aspiring lash artist, trying to be a lash tech, or if you just really want to know what the tea is on how to take care of your lashes, this is the video for you. What's up my vanity vixens? Welcome back to my channel. It's your big sis Margo hey. coming to you with all the glitz, glam, hot topics, and real boss babe advice. If you're not a part of the sisterhood, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of any new content. Now, let's sit back, relax, and let's get into today's video. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. It's your big sis, Margo. And today's video is all about the lash extensions because I know all my baddies out there go to get their lashes done, but... They don't know how to take care of the hem. Oh my God, a lash text nightmare. I, have, what, I don't have this one written down, okay? I was just like, over this past couple of days with allergy season and, um, you know, I got a couple lazy clients. Sorry, I keep looking at the monitor, you guys, if you see me looking away. Just want to make sure I'm in focus. But, um, yeah, I just figured that this video is really necessary, especially for people who don't know how to take care of their lashes or people who are new to the lash game and want to know what's tea, okay? So, I'm going to do a full tutorial. I have no makeup on, okay? I'm going to wash my face with you guys and show you that, yeah, it's okay to get your freaking face wet please do so because I'm at my studio I have my little um, I just brought like my little travel kit shit um, and I'm also gonna do um, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how to take off your makeup properly when you have lash extensions also all right so uh, for now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a like um, a AM routine with my cleanser face wash and my um, moisturizer okay and then I also have my lash shampoo all right so the lash shampoo all right now there's different brands there's a thousand ways you can clean your lashes uh, I'm just gonna start off by saying subscribe to my channel okay um, my channel my channel is pretty much just all things beauty. Um, I am a creative, I am a makeup artist, lash technician, um, of all around entrepreneur. I do body painting, I do my own branding. I do a lot of stuff, bro, okay? I'm a one woman show. All right, so if that's something that you're interested in, just subscribe, sis, because I got you, all right? So um, I am based in Chicago. Yeah, North Side. Go Cubbies. Okay, so how should I do this first? Okay, let's just start off with how you wash your face, okay? So first we're just gonna go ahead and wash our face like normal. I'm gonna put the cleanser in my hand, all right? And some, this may be a tutorial for how to wash your face because girl, ah, there's some girls out there that's dirty. So you put the cleanser, I'm an esthetician, so this is, this is the real deal, listen up. <laughs> You're gonna put the cleanser on your hands. You're gonna apply it on your face dry, okay? All over, all right. And then you're gonna get a little bit of water. Rub your hands and okay, let that emulsify. All right, yes, get the forehead wet. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to curse so I can get monetized. You heard, and use a uh, different music. You heard, I'm trying to make money in my sleep anyway. So you just keep doing this, okay. Clean those eyeballs, clean those lashes, clean the forehead, you know, you be sweating, you get dandruff, all types of stuff, whatever product you got up in your forehead, edge control, all types of stuff, girl, that stuff be melting, okay, and get down into your lash line. All right, now, this is how I rinse my face. I'm going to get, oh, I got my watch on. Hold on. Let me put the towel together, because I don't want to walk out looking like a wet dog. Okay, so... You see, I just washed my face. That's all you got to do. Okay? And rinse the face off. Now, my lashes are wet, okay? So, they look spiky. They look spidery, all right? Now, with the towel, this is where you got to be careful. You're going to pat 
pat under, dry regular under, okay, keep looking up, up to the sky, you might notice a, you know, cobweb up in the corner, you've never seen it before, who knows what you got, a little, you know, paint chipping, alright, this is important, I'm going to take the towel, okay, I've got my little fingers up in here, like a little mitt, alright, and I'm just going to wipe up here, I'm going to wipe, alright, I'm going to leave my lashes wet, it's okay that they are wet, it is okay that they are wet. The only time that it is not okay when they're wet is the first 48 hours. Some lash techs may even tell you don't even get your lashes wet for the first three days, 72 hours, sis. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? They'll fall off. The, the reason being is that the, the glue is still, still uh, sorry, I don't know why I'm like stuttering. But the glue is still curing, sis. Okay, that's why it's important for you to, like, it may be dry at the surface, but it's not dry completely all the way through the inside, okay? Which is the most important process, okay? Because you just spent between $100 to $200, sometimes $300 on some lash extensions, and then you're going to get a wet girl by tweaking. All right, so now that they're wet, right? I just, that's, and this is my daily thing, okay? Now we get to fast forward two days later all right now i done wore makeup i was working out with my friends all types of stuff okay let's just say that that's what's going on now you know it's a sweaty day and you're like oh my god i need to clean my lashes it's a you know how like you have a wash day for your hair well you have a wash day for your lashes all right and what you're gonna do is if you have a lash shampoo by all means use it if not johnson and johnson's tear free baby soap works wonders sis and if you really want to get fancy you can go on amazon and purchase an empty foam bottle it should come out like this okay foam i want to see bubbles bubbles i see bubbles all right so anyway i put it on the back of my hand and I dip it like so. Okay, this is the spoolie that your lash tech should be giving you. If you don't have spoolies, order them. Because they are important. Alright? Um, I need a mirror. One moment. Alright. So I'm back. With a mirror. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just dip my, my brush in here. And coat it real cute. Um, please tell me you can see this. Okay, coated real cute, all right? I'm going to go ahead and go on top of my lashes. Now, you could do this on your lashes whether they be dry or wet, like how mine are now. It doesn't really freaking matter. And for as far as I know, um, everything that we tell you to put on your eye is safe for your eye, okay? Not going to send you off, okay, baby? So, you just brush them, okay, like this, and you know... If you have eye boogies, I mean, get them. And, you know, everybody gets them. Just get in there and kind of, like, brush it out, you know. Like, the, first off, you got to remember, eye boogies are, like, your freaking boogers. They're, it's mucus. All that is in, is, is mucus. All, all this up in here is mucus. So what happens is you see it when it's wet and gushy and whatever. Okay, guess what's going to happen? It dries up. All right, well, when it dries up, it gets hard, right? That's when you feel it's like, like all crusty and whatnot. So you remember, if you add moisture, it'll soften back up and kind of just wither off of your lash. So, yeah, that's all you got to do, okay? It's very simple. And this doesn't even take a lot of time, baby. Okay, it's only taking time because I'm trying to tell y'all how to do it, what to do, and all that. Okay, well, yeah, you just go on to... Oops. See, I got one lash holding on for dear life. I got to be careful with that mug because I swear I could brush it and it'll pop off and mess up my whole little, whole little thing. I miss my filling appointment. Don't miss your filling appointment. You'll regret it. I'm over here trying to be careful. Look how sparse they are. I cannot. Okay, so now they they look like this. Okay, mind you, you should be doing this in the morning when you're getting ready before you walk out the door. And if you don't, that's fine. Just have a little bit of time after you do this to let them dry. Unless, unless, 
you have a lash fan. If you have a lash fan, dry those suckers. I tried to wing it, it didn't work. Anyway, yeah, girl. So just, you know, you want to wait for them to dry. Let them be spiky like this. Because I'm going to put you on. I'm going to put you on. Okay. They're not dry. I know they're not. Okay. But for this video's time's sake, okay. What I'm going to do is brush them. When they are, how do I explain this? So when your lashes are wet and they pinch up like this, you want for them to wait to dry. Now you can either get the lash band, you can go like this and just press on them. But be careful when you're pressing on them. It does dry them a little bit, but sometimes with the towels, you may snag a lash off and that hurts so bad. Okay, just be careful, that's all I'm saying. Now when they're dry and spiked, that's when you can go ahead and brush them again and they'll start to, um, if you have volume, you know, they'll start fanning out regardless. It doesn't matter if you have volume, plastic, or hybrid. They'll start uh, fluffing back out, all right? So I just kind of, see how they, see how they, fl it fluffed a little bit. Mind you, I know, like, I'm doing this for video purposes, but had I waited for real, for real, like how I normally do, they actually do fluff out to where it looks like I got a whole new set. And that's really how you clean your lashes on a regular basis. Now, most of us, when we get our lashes, we don't really wear makeup like that, um, especially in the summertime. If you wear makeup, you know, I'm sure it's like very minimal. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how, and I know I don't have eye makeup on, but I'm still, we're just going to pretend that I do. I have um, a face on though. Fresh face. Fresh face MC per definitely go follow me on on everything. I be cutting up on TikTok, y'all. I just can't help it. It's just I'm I'm real life goofy and sexy at the same time. So, anyway, <laughs> I be cutting up. Let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all. You won't get a white baby. You're not gonna gouge your face in water like how I just showed you, okay? Now that the face is beat, it's time to take off the face, okay? You're gonna get a wipe. I don't care if it's a baby wipe, a water wipe, a makeup wipe, get a wipe. Or, pause. What you're gonna do is take this wipe, you're gonna literally wipe up at top first, okay? Get that eye makeup off, okay? And this is how I have my finger wrapped up in here, okay? All right, wrapped, you know, wipe like this, okay, wipe, wipe. Or if you don't have makeup wipes, I suggest getting the, the this little micelle water, okay, Garnier, works wonders. Once you're done wiping the, off your makeup, then you can go ahead and splash your face. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are trying to get lashed, de definitely take take a look at the other video I did because it's literally everything that you need to know about lash extensions and your appointment and what it's like. Um, and if you are an aspiring lash tech, drop comments, girl. If you have questions, if you have suggestions, maybe something I didn't mention, please, please, please drop it down below. That's all I have. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Like this video. If it was helpful to you, share it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So, how did you like today's topic? Be sure you leave your comment below. If you haven't already subscribed, click that button, sis, and don't miss out on my next video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.